Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. Welcome to the session of INICET November 2001 Recall Sessions. So this session is for INICET exam 2022 session admission. So this is our first question. So the question was uh, about parasitic egg, egg of parasites. Four images were given in today's exam and they asked to identify the eggs, individual eggs for four image images. So let's identify the eggs one by one. First one. So which is the first one? This is nothing but Ascaris. So this is egg of Ascaris. So number one is Ascaris. Second one, this is the egg of Hukom. So this is egg of Hukom. Third one, this is the egg of Tinea. Tinea solium. And the fourth one, this is the egg of H. nana. Hymenolepsis nana. So this is the identification of eggs. So this question was given in today's exam. So they have asked to identify the individual eggs. The options are like egg 1 Ascaris, 2 Hukum, 3 Tinea, 4 Hymenolepsis nana. Alternative options are also given like 1 Hukum, 2 solium, 3 nana, 4 ascaris like that. So the answer will be this. This is ascaris, this is hukum egg, this is tinea and this is hymenolepsis nana. Coming to the question number 2, this was very easy question. One hand deformity image was given like this and they have asked to what is the mechanism behind this deformity or what is the nerve that is damaged. So, as you can see, this is nothing but partial claw hand. This is partial claw hand with clawing of fourth and fifth fingers. See, there is flexion of proximal and distal interphalangeal joint along with extension of the metacarpophalangeal joint of fourth and fifth disease. So, this is partial claw hand. This occurs because of damage of nothing but ulnar nerve. So, the answer is ulnar nerve. So, ulnar nerve damage causes partial clawing of fourth and fifth disease. Alternatively, for second and third disease, median nerve damage causes second and third disease clawing. And ulnar and median together, these two nerve together damage causes total claw hand. Next, coming to the question number three. Question number 3 was with this image, the image was something like that. The question was like following freak injury, a patient develops following skin changes along the lymphatics. So following skin changes along the lymphatics. So what is the reason for these skin changes? So as you all know, this is very popular image for competitive exam. This is nothing but as you all know, also known as Rose Gardener disease. Rose Gardener disease. I think the answer is known to you. What is the other name uh, of Rose Gardener disease? The disease is nothing but the answer is sporotrichosis. So, sporotrichosis is the answer for this question. This is nothing but Rose Gardener disease or Rose Thron Prick disease. Also cause rose handler disease caused by fungus sporothrix shenki. So caused by fungus sporothrix shenki. So this is the answer for this question. Next question number 4. This is one image of obstetrical instrument, obstetrics and gynecological instrument. This is nothing but casco speculum. So this is cascos speculum the full name is cascos self retaining cascos double bladed this is self retaining vaginal speculum so this is cascos double bladed self retaining vaginal speculum and other three options are like one among them was i think seems speculum 
and I forgot rest two of the options. So I'm coming to the next uh, question that is question number five. Uh, the question was about RTA patient. The question was clinical. Uh, very long question was there. The question was like one RTA patient came to emergency with shock like BP was less like 90 by 60 or heart rate was more like 120 or 110 beats per minute and the patient was in shock. The uh, VS or visiting surgeon asked the intern to infuse intravenous fluid as early as possible. So with this color intravenous calura this is green color and the question asked is what is the flow rate for this cannula so the options were like i forgot the ex exact options but i think the options were like 66 ml per minute 86 96 or 106 ml per minute i think the options are like that but according to the standard textbook the green gel co flow rate is 90 ml per minute according to many standard textbook so i don't know what will what is the actual answer for this question either 86 or 96 86 is the nearest to 90 ml per minute so i think this is the probable answer 86 ml per minute next question is question number 6 what is the best method to measure HbA1c this is repeat question from M's previous paper and this is all this question was also asked I think in the previous uh, initiate I think initiate November INICT November sorry INICT July session this question was also asked in INICT July session same question the question was repeated again so this is nothing but ion exchange chromatography this is the right answer this ion exchange chromatography is the best method to measure hba1c or glycosylated hemoglobin next what is the mechanism of action of this drug remdesivir so this is very popular drug for this covid era so what is the mechanism this inhibits this drug inhibits which enzyme is it RNA dependent RNA polymerase or DNA dependent RNA polymerase or DNA dependent DNA polymerase which is the actual answer for this question this remdesivir inhibits RNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme so this inhibits RNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme so this is the answer for this question next next one liner question was there the topic was hepatitis B or hep B vaccine hep B subunit vaccine is derived from which antigen the options were like HBE antigen HBS antigen HBC antigen or hepatitis B DNA something like that I forgot the actually fourth option but the th these three options were there but the, uh, for this question the answer will be hepatitis B S antigen or surface antigen. So hepatitis B subunit vaccine is derived from surface antigen or HBS antigen. Next this was clinical question very long question clinical scenario based question uh, the question was like that one patient I think near about 50 to 60 or 40 to 50 years old uh, uh, sorry not 50 near about 30 years old one patient complaining of abdominal pain for two to three uh, for three days obstipation obstipation for two days and nausea and vomiting and the patient had developed severe pain today and abdomen is rigid on x-ray you have find this on straight x-ray abdomen or chest x-ray this is the result so what is the diagnosis so th what is the diagnosis this is also repeat question from m's previous year, year questions so this is nothing but pneumoperitoneum pneumoperitoneum but in this session pneumoperitoneum option was not there the examiner uh, has twisted the options so 
in place of pneumoperitoneum the option was hollow viscous perforation so the answer will be hollow viscous perforation which cause pneumoperitoneum so this x-rays is suggestive of pneumoperitoneum hollow viscous perforation question number 10 double bleph sign so double bleph sign in USG is indicative of so the options are like amnion and chorion amnion chorion then amnion and yolk sac then primary secondary yolk sac and like that so i don't know the what was the i forgot the rest two options but in this case the answer will be amnion or yolk sac is seen as double bleph sign and usg see the usg this is the usg of double bleph sign you can see the two blebs here here is one bleb and here is another this two bleb is called double bleb sign one is this is amnion and this is yolk sac so this is double bleb sign in usg one of the earliest features of the sonological features so i have discussed first one to tenth question of today's ini ct paper in my next video i am going to discuss question number 11 to 20 so stay tuned for the next video inict november session recall and don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar de so share the video with your friends senior and junior stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching